Welcome to Weathersfield Proctor Library Storytime. I'm Gladda Coleman, Youth Services Librarian, and here's our library bear bear. Uh, we're here today to read to you a series of stories that are called fables. Fables are stories that try to teach some sort of a lesson using mostly animals. And these fables happen to be by a man named Aesop, who lived a long, long time ago. And these stories have been retold by Graham Kent, and they are illustrated by Tessa Hamilton. We're gonna read several of these. They're very short. So the first of these stories, let me just move around a little bit, is called The Hound and the Lion. A hound decided to visit the jungle and see what he could find there. He had never been in the jungle before and did not know many of the animals who lived there. This did not worry him. Where he came from, he had been considered a great hunter. He had chased and killed many animals. He was sure that all the beasts of the jungle would be afraid of him. Before very long, he saw a lion walking ahead of him. This was the first lion the hound had ever seen. The thought did not worry the hound at all. He thought that he would soon catch the great beast. For a time, the hound followed the lion through the jungle. Then he broke into a trot and prepared to leap onto the other beast. Just as he reached the lion, the great animal turned and stared at the hound. Something warned the hound that the beast he was facing was stronger and fiercer than any he had ever met before. For a moment, the two animals stared at each other. Then the lion opened his mouth and roared. The hound had never heard such a terrifying sound. The roar echoed among the trees. The hound discovered that he could not move. He stared at the savage teeth of the lion. He noticed the strength in the beast's shoulders. Then the hound turned and ran. He raced through the jungle as fast as he could go, his heart thumping with fear. He had only one wish and that was to put as much distance as possible between himself and the animal with the dreadful roar and the frightening teeth. A fox who had been watching laughed aloud and called after the vanishing hound. It didn't take much to make you run, my friend. Moral. We should find out as much as possible about someone before coming into conflict with him. <laughs> that sounds like good advice, doesn't it? Well, here's another fable by Aesop, and this one is called The Mouse and the Bull. When it happened, it surprised everyone. A cheeky little mouse went up to a bull as the great animal was grazing. Suddenly, the mouse darted forward and bit the great bull on the nose. The bull roared with surprise and fury. The mouse turned and fled. Lowering his horns, the bull charged after the tiny creature. Just when it looked as if the bull would catch up with the mouse and toss it high in the air, the tiny animal reached its hole in the wall and scuttled into safety. The bull snorted and pawed the ground outside the hole, daring the mouse to come out and face him. The mouse laughed at him. This was too much. The bull backed off and charged at the wall, butting it with his head. He repeated this several times. The strong wall did not even shake. The bull realized that his head was now very sore. He felt dizzy and sank to his knees. This was just what the mouse had been waiting for. As the exhausted bull sprawled on the ground, his head only a short distance from the hole, the mouse darted out and bit him on the nose again. This time, the bull's angry roar could be heard all over the fields. He rose to his feet and tried to trample on the mouse. The big animal was far too slow. The mouse was already back in his hole. The bull bellowed and stamped his feet until the ground shook. There was nothing else he could do. Presently, a little voice squeaked from the safety of the wall. You big strong fellows don't win all the time, you know. Moral, size and strength is not always enough. Well, I'm Glenna Coleman, Youth Services Librarian, and this is our Library Bear Bear. 
maybe we'll read another of these fables some other time. Welcome to uh, Weathersfield Proctor Library Storytime. We'll see you again. Bye.